Lisa, do you have the agenda? The uh, yeah, right? somewhere. I can Lisa. Hi. Where are you? What? I'm on, but I'm not. I didn't. I didn't put my face on because I look like hell. So do I. Who cares? Everyone will freeze. I do. It's not happening. You're not seeing me tonight, Jamie. Come on. Hear me. Hear me. Oh, Put the fancy man. Um, San Francisco background up, please. It was doing yeah. that. It's not happening. All right. I'm calling the scene order. Who's taking minutes? Not me. Who's got a piece of paper? I, I, I guess it's me. Take I, I, it, Kristen. Uh, it's only going to be like three things. Okay. Approval of minutes. Why are we approving minutes? It's supposed to be a special meeting. I know. All right. Well, then get rid of it. Cost that off. Roll call. Jamie's here. Steph's here. I'm here. And Jess, Jess is here. here. And Jess is here. Treasurer's report. Scrap that. Correspondence. Scrap that. Special meeting. Wow. We're not discussing that. Old business. Fourth of July commemoration. Possible parade picnic live music. Yes. Go ahead, Kristen. Um, I don't think so because, you know, on, on June 17th, we're still only going to be at 50 people in outside space. So I don't see how, you know, three weeks later, not even, we're going to be at, you know, 200 people. You know what I mean? The next level is supposed to be three to four weeks from when phase two starts. And then it's supposed to go from 50 to 100. There's a bear behind you, Kristen. Huh? There's a bear behind you. Big black bear. Oh my God. My damn cat. <laughs> we were talking about that before you came on. So we're going to wait for a bear to go by. Well, Kristen, is it something that we have to cancel today? I mean, why do we need to? No, I guess we just, just, we just said at the last meeting that we were going to talk about it today, too. I don't know. I don't yeah. think we're going to let gatherings of 200 people happen yeah. by the 4th of July. Plus, you need a lot of lead time, too, so let's just let it slide right now. Yeah, I can't see how we're going to pull that off. We just say forget I'd say, it. I'd say let it go. Yeah, all right, so we're going to forget it. Okay, guys? Are we voting or good? Whatever. I don't think we really have to vote because it was just something we were, like, tossing around. Right, Lise? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um. I, I don't know why I put this on there. Family fun bag. So, you know, I did those, um, biz, like the busy bags for the kids with Warren and Goshen. Yep. And I didn't sell all of mine. It was a whole stupid thing, whatever. But I end up, Colleen and Goshen had a wait list, so I sold my extra ones to her anyway. Mm -hmm. So then I thought maybe it would be fun to do something for the 4th of July. Maybe like, you know, put a s'mores kit together, maybe in some flags or something, sparklers, yep. you know, to give away. Waste of money and waste of money and your time. I don't, I don't know. I don't really agree with you. Well, you just said you didn't sell yours for the town of Morris. I wasn't going to sell these. I was going to try to do each bag a lot cheaper and then just give them away. If you want to do it, go for it. If you want to put the time in, go for it. I just feel like I need to do something, you know, to like stay. No, that's, that's great. I think I need to do something to stay, you know, relevant. You know what I mean? And active and. Oh, cat. Oh, it's coming up on you. <laughs> there he is. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. If, you, if, if you want to do the time and effort, go for it. I agree. And also, it keeps the community together. People are kind of getting. Yeah. And that's what I'm kind of thinking. It's just a little something to show that we're still here and we still care yep. about you, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Cool. So here we are to the big the big um elephant in the room. <laughs> Go ahead, Lise. Uh I'm not looking at the agenda. So what is it? The beach? Opening the beach. Yeah, what we're do you gonna, wanna do? opening the beach, right. What do you want to do, people? Well, where are we staying right now? What how are we open now? Just weekends? So we're closed Monday through Thursday. We're only open when there's a gate guard there, which is Friday, you know, starting at two o'clock, Saturday and Sunday. Is and we I will say we've only sold about 15 passes so far, which is like nothing. Do we have swimming? Um, it's, you know, swim at your own risk as always. Yeah. Restrooms? The restrooms are now, um, I'm having the gate guards open them and lock them up. When, only when they're there. 
I don't have them wide open because I don't know how to work that. I'd say as long I'd say as long as we have signage, go for it during the week. Just leave it open, but don't leave the restrooms open. Yeah. Something like that, where people can go in and put signs up. You know, just keep your distance, social distance, but no restrooms are open during the week. Only on the weekend. Something Do we like that. put signs up? Because so, you know, that day that I called you and asked if Ben and Noah could go because they wanted to go for. A kayak yeah. and right. Noah took my ripped the sticker off or whatever. Yeah. So, so, anyways, but Ben said that when he was there, and this was on I think a Sunday, um, that a lot of boats were coming up to the beach. Yeah. So I, I hear that's. The I thought thing. we had a line across where they couldn't. Yeah. So I, that's. So I had said something to Ben about the beach, and Ben said he's like, I think that's where your problem is going to lie with people pulling up to the um he said a lot of boats and yeah you know that's the thing that you know small you know what they say, whatever one way to skin a cat you know what i mean so if they can't the, get in the, 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 the right way they're gonna they're gonna get in by their boat right so i will say that tom has purchased for us i mean using my money and my budget but purchased that swimming you know section with the buoys on the line so we are going to be oh. in that so that will help to some degree of like mitigating where the boats can actually go. But well, I, I can't really say, it, is it a thing that, you know, boats can't dock there? Lisa, do you know? I don't even know that that's a thing. No, it's not a thing. Boats, well, once you, once you um, have the swimming area marked off, that's going to stop boats from being able to pull straight in there. Now, right. are boats still going to pull up to the sides? Yeah. Which is fine. Yeah, just as yeah, long are as they're permitted to do that, I guess is my question. Well, there's no law against it. Like, I don't know what was is that. I'm trying to find, I took a picture of our rules one time, that rule sign. Like, I don't know if that's part of our rules that you can't do that. We, we, we should have that rule. Um, however, I know myself, as, as I used to be a boater, we would often pull up there on the side so that we could use the bathrooms or to picnic. Um, so um, I have a, a copy of the, that rule sign and rule number M says, no motorcraft may be operated in excess, oh, in excess of five miles an hour within 150 feet of the shore. No launching of motorized vessels from the Morristown beach. Yeah, there you go. So, well, so as I mean, as long as there's, an area for them just a specific yeah. area for them to be sure. so that it's not a free-for-all right and then it's safe for swimmers i mean it's i guess it's fine if it's like a small area and a few boats come up but if you know like not that it would be boats sure I, the whole. I think i think for now we should get the swimming area and not stress about it but we should definitely look into it and talk about it and maybe i mean maybe we could put up um a sign because what will happen is people are going to go over to the state launch and launch their boats and then come over to our beach. Yeah. And have their huge barbecues. Right. It's true. Uh, with, without a pass. So it's either that or um, you have to have a boat sticker on your, a sticker on your boat. I don't know. I don't know. So we have to talk about that. I think something we need to ask Tom about as far as not letting people. Yeah. I mean, you might be able to let it so they could zip up for, you know, 10 minutes or something, but not, not park their boat because that's what happens. There's a one particular family and I think they're Albanian. They're, I don't know, they, they had, they spoke a different language and there was a ton of them and they always went to the left of the beach and they would bring their boat right up and their jet skis right up and they sent up, set up grills and tables and all kinds yeah. of stuff which they could just access the lake from the state boat launch right here. Exactly. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like they're, they're, if someone's going to find a way around the system, they're going to find a way around the system, you know? Right. So, so maybe like when we have a real meeting, we can sit down and talk about it. it you know, we might have to have those gate guards, you know, checking. And I don't know. We only have one guard. So I know it's, it's tough. It's definitely tough. But in, in, the, in a similar, um, talking about the boats on the side there, Tom and someone else approached me too and asked why do we don't put our own slips there on the side and rent them out as a fundraiser. Uh, it's a good idea. That? 
I think that's a fabulous idea because he could make a shit ton of money doing that. Put him where? Like on the side. Like if you're looking at the lake, put him on the right side over there. I don't know if like, it's deep enough to do that, you know, in that spot, but. Like next to where here. the town launches? Like kind of, well, like in between, between, the town the town launch, between the town launch and our beach. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you would be able to obviously access the, the deck, the dock, you know, from the Morristown beach. Obviously you'd have to be able to walk over there. You know what I mean? Right. Tom suggested that. Tom did bring it up and someone, someone brought it up to Tom too. And, you know, he thought we should, we, we could consider it. Well, again, we should. I mean, it's like $1,100 to moor your boat at the state launch. Right. Right. I mean, people are always want to moor their boats. But how much does it cost to put the, the dock stuff in, though? Well, the docks are astronomical. Yeah. I mean, very... Again, this is probably something we could discuss when we have a real meeting, too, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't think it's something we're going to do be able to do this summer. But I, I yeah. think that's a great idea for the future, to, to, for revenue, anyways. Right. But there's a lot of logistics about that. So we'd have to... I would imagine. And maybe some insurance issues, too, or... Maybe. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess you, I, I'm sure if you had waiver signs that, it, you know, you're mooring yeah. at your own risk. I mean, yeah. White Memorial, White Memorial does it over in the bay. They fill that right. whole bay up. Right. And they, what, what gets me with those guys too, is they charge just to moor in the water. And I don't know how you can do that because technically they don't own the water. Right. I know. I never understood that either, to be honest with you. Yeah. No, I don't get it. That's crazy. Except for Follow their model. They, they don't do what they're doing. A lot of people just more. Yeah. Because follow their model, it's cheaper. Yeah. If yeah. They can do it. Why can't we? Right. I can, you yeah. know, when the time comes, I could probably reach out to them and see if I could get some kind of, you know, documentation from them on how they did it or what they do or what they charge and all of that. Yeah. If it saves us money, if they're doing it, we can do it. All right. So I guess, so what are you, we thinking then? We'll, we will just, we'll reopen it Monday through Thursday and just keep the restrooms locked. I think we could try it. I, you know, I, I, like I said, I'm home all the time. I, I'm happy to like zip over there every day and kind of just keep a check on things yeah. and see what's happening. Do we have signage up with social distancing and all that stuff? I did. Um, I, Don Murphy, you know, my counterpart and Warren did um, print up some signs for me that say just that, you know, six feet, whatever. I have four of them, so I haven't put them up yet, but I do plan on putting them around. And like the last thing we need maybe to just don't open the restrooms there, that's but. all during the week yeah. so i think maybe if we could if i would feel better if i knew that you know once in a while you guys would i will too of course but kind of take a, a peek down there during the day during the week just to see what we see you know and if so that we can keep a handle on whether it's getting out of control or not you know yeah sounds good yeah we can do that can we do that so lisa do we need a motion then to do that? Yeah, J yeah, Jamie, you want to make a motion? Sure, I motion. All right, so Jamie motion. I'm just gonna say you motion you motion to open the beach Monday During the week, Thursday. no restrooms. And put up signage. Anybody second? I'll second. Who's that, Jessica? Yep. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? So moved. Okay, so no 4th of July. We're going to open it for now. We're all going to kind of check in every day or when we can. I'll check in every day, see what's going on, make sure there's nothing crazy. Well, if you and see something said something to the group or whatever, if you see anything that's not normal or whatever, just be like, hey. Oh, I'm marked right down there. I would march down there. I would call Tom. If it looks okay. sketchy for everybody else, if it looks sketchy, just call Tom Wyke, okay? Yeah. Oh, he's got a, he's got his hands full right now. Well, I know, but I know, but he's unfortunately he's the town constable, so he's the only one that can really, and, um, yeah, enforce anything. So we're gonna start this tomorrow, then, yes? Let's yes. just start next week fresh. No, or. I, I don't, whatever you want to do, I'm fine with anything. Me too, I don't care. Whatever you want. More time is better. I'd say just start it next week. That's fine. So what's the hey. date? 
What's the date going to be? Um, um, 14th? Yep. No, 15th. 15th, okay. Yeah, it gives you time to put the signs and everything up, make sure everything's set the way it needs to be set instead of rushing into it tomorrow. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. That's really helpful, actually. Yeah, so just go fresh next week, get it all set up over the weekend, the signs and whatever. And uh, yeah. if you need a hand, let me know. I'm, I'm available a little bit on Sunday if you need a hand with anything for like an hour or something. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, the last thing I was hoping to talk about was um, the concert we have planned on the 26th of July, of June, that's not July. I said July on there, it's June. Oh, June. Oh my God. So I, I kinda, I didn't run this by Tom yet, but I think Lisa and I chatted about it a little bit. So I just wanted to run it by you guys, make sure we're all on board with this. So on, you know, June 26th, so that, that's when we have, um, you can have 50 people in a space for, for an outdoor venue, okay? So I have, the um the usual Lebowski's it's a 90s band set to play that night that was a date that we had booked you know a long time ago so I would like to really try to they're they're willing to still play and I'd like to try to get them to play I'm, I'm thinking that if we like if I had the highway guys put up like a temporary snow fence or something along the grass line by the parking lot at the beach and then we have someone there we monitor the first 50 people that arrive can sit on the grass for the concert and then everybody else can listen to the concert in their cars if they wanted to yeah why not or like tailgate or whatever we do have to space the cars like six feet apart you know trucks what do you think yeah I don't it's think Jessica's it. feeling it. <laughs> I, no, I'm just. <laughs> is there food trucks or is it just a band? I wasn't going to do food trucks just so that it doesn't encourage people to like wait in line. And I don't know. Yeah. I was going to try to keep it as simple as possible. I would just need, I need your support. Like I can't, I was going to um, put an extra gate guard on that night to help, but I'm going to need help like parking the cars. So I thought the people, the first 50 people that come, I would park their cars closer to the gate shed side of the parking lot and then the rest of the people that want to listen to the concert in their cars let them park over there by the pavilion i thought that was only fair is it a friday thinking, or saturday it's a friday night okay. um and then i was going to have the gate guards you know hand out 50 tickets to the people and then whoever is up at the pavilion where the fence is you know we'll collect those tickets so we can really monitor the 50 people you know Parking makes sense, what you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been, I've been putting a lot of thought into it because I just, I don't know if people are dying to get out or they're too afraid to get out. I'm not really sure, but I think this will I honestly think a lot of people, or I, a lot of people that I know are afraid to get out. I'm not dying to get out. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm dying to get out myself, but maybe it's the, just the medical community. We're all still a little wary. Yeah, I know. Ralph and I talked about that too. Like we were going to go out we had planned with another friend to go out to dinner and then they canceled. And so we were like, well, do you want to go anyway? And we were like, no, like, I just don't even want to do it. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Anyway. What are you making, Jess? You want to come over? I'm good. Thank you. What are you making? <laughs> Actually, my wife's making some dinner. I got it. Huh? Yeah, I said, you want to walk up the road? <laughs> Open your window. It's, it's a, it's teriyaki chicken. Nice. All right, so we think we're gonna do it then? Yeah. Everybody, everybody's around to give me a hand on the 26th? Uh, Lisa? Uh, I'll help out however. No. June? I got nothing. How about what you time? Know? What time's the start? Right. Um, seven, I believe. Okay. I yeah, for I'm here. I don't know if it's six or seven. I'll have to let you know. I could really use you for parking, Jamie. Sure. If you'd be kind of. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's six. I have to look. I don't have the paperwork here. But yeah, then, uh, you know, let's try it. And we'll just be prepared for, you know, whatever might happen, whether we're underwhelmed or overwhelmed, you know. And then I think we'll have a good sense of going forward for our other concerts, what we can handle, what they might be like, you know. Like where I, do we 
So like, like, say, uh, we have another okay. contract at the green, I think, coming up, and I, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to do that one on the green. I think I'm going to reschedule that to the beach because I can't control anything at the green. You know, it's too wide open there. The concert on the 26th, though, where do we stand as far as masks? Like, if you want to attend, you need to have a mask on you. You need to be wearing a mask. They are saying now if you are with your people in your little space on the grass, you don't need to wear a mask. But okay. if you get up from your space to go to the restroom or, you know, walk by people that are not in your circle, then you have to wear a mask. So then we'll need some flyers to hand out as people are coming in with their cars. Here you go. These are the rules for the evening. We could do that. Type of yeah. deal. Can, can we post the rules ahead of time too? Like That too. Po post them, but also hand them out as the cars are coming through. Here you go. Thanks for coming tonight. Great to see you. Have a great evening. But here's, here's how we're working as a group. Yeah, I, I have no problem doing that. I can just make up a small little thing so yeah you can hand to each car as they come through so they know what we're all doing together i haven't even advertised this at all so i'm gonna like i'm gonna probably wait as long as possible to do that just in case it gets too big you know sometimes it's band give us a little bit of a break under the circumstances what did the band give us a little bit of a break under the circumstances well, like we're know, trying I, to move i think they're starving jamie Okay. Just asking. And I've already budgeted for them. Okay. So you know we're covered. All right. Just asking. Okay. So then I'll let you know what time that is. Do you think that we should also, I know this is really ridiculous. Honestly, I, I don't necessarily agree with everything personally, but professionally it's a different story. Do you think we should mark spots out in the grass, you know, for where people can sit? Or what? We can we can look at it when we get there. I would think just be like, see if there's a response leading up to it. Like people are like, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. If, there, if there's gonna be a wave of people coming, then yeah, we need to look at that. But if it's like a slow roll, we can spread them out. Yeah. We should have a better idea that Monday, like people are responding, like they do want to come. Or yeah, that's true. it's gonna be like, so we can we can that's address true. it as the time comes. I mean, worst case scenario, if we feel as though we should do that, like even that evening, we can just quickly yeah. go through with like spray paint and do an X, X. Right, you right. Know. I do have so, some spray paint down there already. And if we do, you know, decide that we have a big response and we want to be prepared in that way, I could even ask the highway guys if they could help me with that, you know, Friday during the day or something. Right. So it's not something that we have to do, you know, after work. Okay. But yeah, well, We'll just keep an eye on things and, and take it from there, I guess. I, ju I just really want to be prepared. I don't want to be, you know, caught off guard and have any problems. Do you have a regular meeting next Monday? Yes. Should we push that to the following Monday so we see where we stand for the concert? Um, you know, if we do that, it has to be a special meeting again. Right, Lise? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, it doesn't matter if it's a special meeting or a regular meeting, but if we push out, then we can talk also about like, how's the response been so far? Instead of having a special meeting on the side again. Yeah, the issue is next week is a regular meeting, but Jamie, yeah. asked if we can wait another week to do it instead. Instead of having yeah, another special meeting. Spe it would just have to be a special meeting, which is fine, just as long as we put everything we want to talk about on the agenda. Yeah. That way we can so throw the that, concert that in there and see where we stand. I think that works. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, so that'll be the 22nd then. Okay. okay. Yeah, so we can have an idea of what we're walking into for the 26th. And it's all one meeting. It's our regular meeting, quote, special meeting, wrapped up in the one. Yeah, okay. So there'll be no meeting next week on the 15th then. Okay. Right. Yep. What lights on? The barn lights. Oh. Lisa just said. Oh. Pay attention, Lisa. Yeah. I'm All sorry, right. my son. My son's talking to me at the same time. I think Did we're you good. Hear his I'm doing a lot of stuff, people. Aren't we all? Yep. Good time. Probably not right now. Just a second. So we're good, right? Yeah, we're good. What time right, do you so... think we started this meeting? What? Huh? What time do you think we started this meeting? I didn't write it down. Seven like fifteen. Twenty. 715 because of Jamie. <laughs> Due to Blame. technical difficulties. Blame Jamie. We all were. I could 
I couldn't read the numbers. You remember when you take pictures of passwords and stuff, people? I know. Blow I know. it up. This was a first time for me too. I, I never did it that way, so. It worked. We got through it. Did, yes. So the 22nd at 7, 7 p.m., we'll talk about the concert and have a regular meeting and go from there. Yep. And, and the 26th meeting. is the concert at 7 p.m. It's a meeting in person now? We could meet in person, yes. We could go over yeah. the beach and just sit on the back. And pull the yeah, let's, let's, let's go to the beach and have a good meeting. That sounds great. Yeah. Okay. That Does that works. work for everybody else? We'll yeah. have even, even, even if it's raining, we can go up on the pavilion. Who cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds great. All right. Because I don't like these Zoom meetings. They're kind of icky. What do you mean? You're not, you're not showing us anything. I'm not showing you nothing, James. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking it on my patio, hanging out with my cat. Right? <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> okay, so we're adjourning at 7 whatever, 55? Yep. Does someone have to make a motion to do that or something? I motion. Somebody second? No second. Hiccups. Jessica? Yes. Yep, Jesse, all those in favor. Uh, so moved. We're night, sure. guys. Be safe. Well, night, everybody. All right, Be bye. Bye, guys. Kristen, call me during the week if anything comes up. All right, yeah, if you, if you happen to go down to the – well, we're not opening until next week now. That's right. Okay. That's fine. Ignore me. Send me an email Monday morning, though, because, like, I have it in my brain now because I was going to go tomorrow, but then I'll forget. So send me an email, would okay. you? I will. All right, I'll chick. I'll talk, to you later. Bye, guys. talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you. Bye.